Wind and solar could be the energy sources of a sustainable future. They've got low greenhouse gas emissions and don't have to depend on limited fossil fuels. But there's a catch. The sun isn't always shining, and even here in Boston, the wind isn't always blowing. This means that the power we generate with renewables changes over time. As we start to use more wind and solar energy, how we handle this intermittency will be crucial. Let's take a closer look at this problem. For example, solar power needs the sun. As a result, we get lots of power in the middle of the day and none at night. The thing is though, the way our current grid functions, power is used right after it's generated. And right now we use the most power in the mornings and evenings. If we add more solar panels to meet these demands, now we're wasting tons of energy in the middle of the day. And if we don't, well, this happens. Actually, it gets more complicated because some days are cloudier than others, which means there is less solar power, and people don't use the same amount of power per day. Additionally, over the course of a year, there is more sun in the summer and less in the winter. This intermittency doesn't just occur for solar either. Wind also changes on a seasonal basis. All of these factors make it very difficult to rely exclusively on renewables for power. So what can we do about it? Do we just give up and keep using dirty fossil fuels? Luckily, there are many ways to tackle this problem and places for you to get involved. The most obvious thing to work on is improving energy storage because it would be really helpful to store extra energy from times with low demand and release it when there's high demand. Here at MIT, there's a wide range of research on chemical, thermal, and mechanical ways of storing energy. One group, for example, is making batteries with enhanced capabilities and longer lives, while another is working on helping buildings to store thermal energy for heating and cooling, and another is creating technologies to convert excess energy into chemical fuels. Besides storing energy, there's also room for improvement in how we generate it and how we use it. As you might imagine, there's a lot of work to be done, from improving new technologies to scaling up developed ones in both environmentally conscious and just ways. This is where you come in. Chances are there are labs or companies near you working to address these problems. For example, here at MIT, we have the Europe program where you can get directly involved in research. You'll definitely be able to find an exciting way to make an impact. <laughs>